welcome to Monday. Yay, Monday. <laughs> I'm at my desk, obviously. I've just been doing some stuff for teaching. I finally did my background check. I'm so annoyed. Put it off because when I logged on while Tamsin was here, they made it sound like it was going to be just this really long thing and they were saying have all of these documents ready, like previous pay stubs and your CV or resume and like past residence. And so I'm thinking, gosh, they're going to like ask for everything about my whole life history. So I waited until Tamsin went home so that I could just focus on her visit and then focus on the background check. Nothing in the email said that the email and the link to the background check or the background verification thing was time sensitive. So I thought I can wait an additional week. Logged on a day and the link had expired. So I emailed my HR people and said the link has expired. Can you send me a new one? And thankfully the one responded like right away. I thought, okay, I'll finally get this done. It took me like less than 30 minutes. All they wanted was previous previous addresses for the past seven years, so that's two addresses for me, and education history. And that was it. Nothing else. Oh my gosh. I wish I'd known that that's all it was going to be, because then I would have done it the other day while we were watching the World Cup game. Oh well, it's done now, so that's, that's all that matters. Got my iced coffee. I've had Christmas music playing to keep me calm. I need to upload this video. It's uploaded, I just need to hit publish because I got distracted by everything else. I've got what will hopefully be a busy and productive week ahead of me. I've got a bunch of things on my bullet journal. I'm still waiting for my Sephora play box, the July play box. They seem to have put it on an old-fashioned stagecoach coming from New Jersey this month. It's now the 23rd. They shipped it on the 11th. Okay. <laughs> it usually, it's been taking a while lately, but it usually doesn't take more than a week. And so now we're going on almost two weeks. So I don't quite know what to think about that. I'm hoping it gets here by Thursday so I can film the unboxing and put it up on Friday because I didn't film a video for Friday this weekend because this box was supposed to be the video for Friday. Ah, oh, frustrating. Like, this is beyond first world problems. This is something else entirely. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work and try to get a bit of work done over the next few hours. We'll just see how, see how the rest of the day goes. I'm feeling in a good mood, so I'm hoping I can keep that, <laughs> keep that going. I mean, there's, I don't know, there's still a lot of crap going on right now and things that could really stress me out, but I'm trying to just not live in that stressed space. So, yeah.
Hello, it is Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. Feels like it's later. I'm just, I'm tired. I, I'm, I'm tired of talking about how stressed and tired I am. Especially since there's, there, there are things that are making me stressed and tired that I can't talk about. Because it, it's not, I'm pretty open about talking about me. But as soon as it involves another person, that's when I want to be more private about it. So it'll be okay. I'm, I'm mostly just tired. My, it's very, very hot today. I think it got back up into the one teens and I had to go down to campus. I didn't take the camera with me because it, it was just, it was too hot to get the camera out and be pointing that around. It's 115, um, which is 45 ish in Celsius. I'm not going to bother looking it up. So really hot, very dry. It's only 12% humidity according to the weather app. So hot but dry. It feels like an oven out there walking back up to my apartment from my car. It just, oh, it's sapping what little energy I have and it's just making me not feel that great. I've been cranking through my homework assignments for the week for the freelance stuff um, that is inching ever closer to being able to kind of launch it and be able to tell you guys all about it and not just be kind of vague about it. It's after five o'clock. I got home from my second appointment kind of late. So for now, I think I'm going to try to find something to watch on TV. Yesterday I did watch, I finally watched the movie the Mountain Between Us with Kate Winslet and Idris Elba. It was really good. I highly recommend it. So I might try to see if I can find something else to watch. Either another movie or I know I have an issue of The Last Defense on ABC and there might be a new episode on HBO On Demand of Sharp Objects because I think that's a Sunday night show. So I might try to watch those. I've been rambling for 10 minutes more than that, so I'm going to shut up and go try to have a relaxing, calm evening, and I will take you all to the house with me tomorrow to see Gus and Lexi. Welcome to it's Friday afternoon. It's about 3.30, 3.40, so getting closer to 4. So I thought it would be a good time to try to go to Costco. <laughs> Friday afternoons tend to be pretty good because people, most people will have already gone by now. No one really wants to go to Costco on a Friday afternoon. So I can usually find a parking space right out front and the lines inside usually aren't quite too bad. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm here for boring stuff. I need laundry detergent, I need toilet paper, I need ch some cheese sticks, cheese snack things. Let's go into Costco and see what we can find and try not to do too much damage.
It is so hot outside. <laughs> I almost feel a little bit sick now, um, which is not so good. Yeah, it's hot. I've got, I've refilled my ice water and I'm probably just gonna go lay in the dark under a fan. But I wanted to show you the few fun bits that I got at Costco. Let me turn on another light so you can see. So I think I showed you guys this in the clip. It's a queen size fuzzy cozy blanket. So I thought that would be really nice for my bed but it also would match out here in the living room so this might travel back and forth with me. And then I couldn't decide um, between books so I got two books. The first is Sharp Objects which I have been watching on HBO. I haven't read Gone Girl but I have seen the movie adaptation and I liked it pretty much and I've been really liking the TV adaptation of this to the point where I kind of can't wait and I want to know how the mystery <laughs> progresses so I'm gonna cheat and read the book and then I'll just follow along with the TV show but I'm I'm really curious about this one I don't want to keep waiting I don't know how many more weeks the show is gonna go on so I figure I can read this in probably a day or so probably by the end of the weekend since it's Friday and then the second book is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society which apparently is now a net Netflix film. I'll probably watch it after I read the book. It starts off since January 1946, but then it g looks back at the Guernsey Island, the island of Guernsey, um, during the German occupation. I love World War II era books, um, particularly those that focus around what life was like during the occupation or during um, the rations, just what daily life was like back then. I'm fascinated by it. So thought this would be good. Probably gonna read this one first and then read that one and I will keep you all posted.